Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion. And today I want to show you how to package your WebWorks application using the command line. We only need a couple of things to do this. We need the WebWorks SDK and uh, of course we needed a completed application. Now if you're going to produce your application you'll need signing keys uh, as well but those are optional. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I've got a uh, look into my application window. Um, it's called Zen Lottery. You can see up here at the top. Here are all the files I need that I want to package up. Application is done. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the window. I'm running on Windows and I'm going to do a new zip file. What I need to do is create a zip file with all the files that I need in my application. So I'm just going to select all these applications, all these files. I'm going to copy them, go into my zip folder, and paste. So now what I've done is I've created a zip file that has all the files in it needed for my application in my inetpub wwroot Zen Lottery directory. Next, I'm going to load up a command line window. And the command line window is going to be wherever I've installed the WebWorks SDK. In this case, it's the BlackBerry 10 WebWorks SDK 1.0.1.17. Your version may vary. Simply, if I want to package this up, I type BBWP. That's for the BlackBerry Web Packager. Now, a couple things I need to know. First, I need to know where that zip file was. So we pop back here to the screen, click once in the title bar, copy back here, and let's go edit, paste. So that's where the zip file is located. That's the root of my function. So I want to point it to zinlottery.zip because I want it pointed to the zip file. Now, I'm going to go ahead and first create a debug version. So I'm going to use a slash D and slash O. O is for output. So where am I going to put this? Um, well, let's put this, uh, how about in my documents folder, BB10 projects folder. And edit, paste. Okay, so that's it. So I've told it bbwp the packager where the zip file is slash d which means i want to debug output non-signed and i've given it the output directory that's all i want that's all i need to do i click enter and it goes off and packages my application so now we see that it's created the bb10 simulator zen lottery bar and the device zen lottery bar and that's all there is to it i've gone ahead and packaged my application for debug mode. Now, if I wanted to package it full-blown as a, as a regular signed application, well, I could use the same command, but instead of the slash D slash O, I want to be able to tell it, hey, this is the application I want to do. I'm ready to package this. So I'm going to take out the slash D, and I'm going to put in slash G, as in George. Then I'm going to type in my key password, I know you can't see that because I don't want you to see my key password. Then what I need to do is I need to give it a build ID. So in this case, I'm going to give it this slash build ID, and we're going to give it a build ID of 20, and then the output directory again. I hit enter, and now it's going to go ahead and build that application, and it's going to sign the application as well using the signing keys that I have. And we're all done. So that's really all there is to packaging your application using the command line tools. Now here's the help file that you can print out so you can see all the parameters that are available. Um, we used the, uh, the B for the build, set up the build, the output. We used debug. We also used the G. So depending on how you want to package your application, here's all the variants that are there. Here are the strings I use, so you can have them for quick little reference. BBWP. The, the directory to where my zip file was, slash D for debug, slash O for output, and the output file. And then the other one, here we have the, um, the signing file, when I went ahead and did the signing. And that's all there is to it. 
I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion, and we'll talk again.